How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Founders Fortune. Now, it has literally been such an annoying thing to go ahead and record this again because what happens to me every time I play this game is it auto saves and they don't have a way to turn it off. So I messaged the developers. Hopefully they figure that out. Now guys, welcome back to Founders Fortune. This is going to be our best run yet on YouTube. So we are going to have a great series pop off out of this. Now, before I even put their beds down, I'm going to instantly make them a house. We got D-Chan and Shadow Wolf over here. What we're going to do is we are going to have their house be over here. It's going to be decently large, um, just because you're going to have to put in multiple, multiple things in this house. Uh, so that's what it's going to look like. We're going to have a bedroom here. And then on the inside, we're going to have a little area for them to eat, which will be this little area over here. So it's going to go just like that. And then we're going to have the front door kind of line up into this area here. But I want it to also just be a three-way door spot. So it's gonna look like this. That's a that's a beautiful house, not gonna lie. Now for the kitchen, I'm gonna give it stone flooring. Actually, that's not even stone. Stone flooring right here. So we're gonna give it some stone flooring, just like that. And uh, on everything else, we're gonna do some wooden flooring, which we have to make sure we have enough for a door so let's make sure we get a door put in here before we even finish off the floor itself so we're going to have to get only a specific amount of wood so there we go we have two slots that we need to get down now shadow is going to come over here and start chopping up some trees while d chan's over there doing her thing once that's built Shadow's actually going to come over here and hopefully get us enough wood to get this all situated now they might get a little bit hungry so in order to do that, we're going to need even more wolf, more wolf what? More wood. So Shadow is going to go back over there and continue doing that. Now, we're going to grab this and put that there. That's two extra wood. But there we go. That's going to be the first house. It's going to look phenomenal. It's going to look really freaking nice. And we're going to build an upstairs where they're going to even have an area to have a child. Because I'm going to rush getting a kid as soon as possible and trying to make my people as smart as I can to make my colony a little brighter. So guys, welcome to Founders Fortune. If you do enjoy it, like always, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. All that fun stuff down below. Trust me, it really does help out. You guys would be surprised by how much it really, really does. But guys, honestly, thank you so much for the love and support we've been getting. We've been getting non-stop love, non-stop support, and I need to find out which people live here so we can make sure we stay on the good side. So they are these guys, the greedy villagers, which are the guys that are closest to us. Now, before we get into anything, I like to look what's around me. We got sheep for days, sheep for days, and a few cows, which honestly isn't too bad. They want us to build a bed, but I'm going to do that in just a second. So I think we can kind of wait a little bit on that. So if we go here, we could put a bed down right here, let's say, and a bed down right here as well. And the best part of like this is, even though they're not really together yet once i get their beds like their big beds i'll actually put them side by side and get that all situated so i'm gonna go ahead and construct their beds and they take ownership of it take ownership of it and now if they need to sleep or anything they have that area to do that i want to grab you actually dchan and make that so if anybody gets hungry we have a place to eat this is gonna be a really nice house i genuinely think it's gonna look really cool on the inside because this can be the place for eating or slash crafting, like a crafting room or something like that, just for these two as I figure out what they're going to do. So if we go inside here, you find out that she's an archer, so that's pretty cool. It's going to really help me out. And then she is tireless, loves summer, and she's lactose intolerant. He's tireless, loves spring, and vegetarian. And he also is a doctor that can apply the flu treatment. That's pretty much it. So I know I'm going to make him a soldier because Shadow Wolf is somebody that pops in my stream. If you guys want to be named anybody, make sure you pop in the streams and ask because that's the only way I'm going to have you in this series. I know for a fact the next female is going to be named Stacy, and possibly the next one that we have after that will be my beautiful fiance Alicia. And the next guy that's going to join is either going to be me or Liam. I definitely think that's going to happen. So guys, like I said, there might be a small wait queue for that, but other than that guys, Hopefully you're ready for this actual series to freaking begin because it literally is so annoying that it hasn't happened yet. I do like the layout. This is the first house that I'm doing a cool layout like this in. Normally I don't do something like this. I do think it's going to make the 
it look a little like not a little nicer i think it's gonna look 100 percent nicer or something like that but there's gonna be the entrance the entrance of our house and it's gonna go into this little area yeah that's okay you can't talk alicia you don't have to not talk we're gonna need to get farming up as soon as possible so our people don't starve to death so once this is built that's the first thing i'm gonna kind of focus on is we're gonna go into life here which it's completed which is fantastic we're gonna put that there I'm gonna get D Chan here, I'll say, to focus on being a scholar right off the bat. So what that entails is she's gonna go over here and kick up some gems. And I'm gonna get our boy Shadow to come over here and cut down some trees. Now he does wanna relax for the mission, but I don't think we need to do that. I'm gonna cut down some trees just so we can get a little bit of spare wood on the side. She's gonna do that and then once she gets five, I'm gonna click on her, make her come construct this. And that's going to really help us out because we're going to get this done as soon as possible. So get her to analyze the book stand. Shadow's over here. I'm going to get him to remove the stump. Hopefully he doesn't break his dang foot because that would really suck. So let's get him to do that. He wants to discover woodworking, which is going to be a quick little thing. I'm going to get him to relax, but I love the look of this house. Look at that layout, baby. You like that? Got some nice... Oops, we got a new migrant already. Wow. All right, Shadow, let's go check it out. Here is a guy. Awesome. Let's go ahead and accept him. And I'm going to name him Daniel because he has brown hair like me. He is wearing a green shirt, which is Alicia's favorite color. His name's Tobias, but oh, hell no, it's not. His name is Daniel. So I'm a part of the squad now. And I am an overeater. Oh, God. And I love summer. But I'm a tier three craftsman that can do forging right off the bat. That's huge. That's actually a really good one because that's a three pointer. Now, I'm going to be focused on farming. You're going to be focused on forestry right now, the tier 2 in farming. So when we're done doing that, you can do that. You're going to focus on everything else that isn't a skilling job. So you're going to be able to chill the most, but we're always going to try and stay on top of that. My guy, I said he's going to be our farmer. So in order for us to become a farmer, we're going to have to do a few things. So... We're going to have to go around and start gathering up some stuff. And she's going to do her research, which is going to hopefully help us out a lot. Now, I'd like to tame an animal as soon as possible, but that's going to take a little bit. Now, in order for me to get it home, for now, we're just going to have to put this down. And that's where we're going to have to sleep. So I'm going to construct that to make him happy. Take ownership. Go back to gathering some cotton. And that's going to be our life. We live in this little tiny spot here. We're going to have the house possibly go here and get ready for two people as well. It's going to be a nice home, but it's going to cost a lot of wood. So once he's done gathering that cotton, we're going to go ahead and start kicking some trees. That's now done. We're going to go into woodworking. We're going to go into farming and we're going to make a massive farm and it's going to be over here. This is actually a really nice spot. So we're going to go like this. We're going to make maybe five of them which is quite a lot, but honestly, it's fine. I'm gonna do the same thing, five of them. Just because it's better to have more, especially for the farms. I definitely think it's gonna be high, something we highly, highly, highly need. So my guy's trying to sleep, but I really don't want him to. I want him to really come focus on this right now. Same with Shadow, I want him to come over here and start constructing, constructing this so we can get started on farming. Our next person that we get is also gonna be a farmer. But they're going to mainly focus on just helping the field, nothing else that entails with the farming. This is going to allow us to instantly start getting food, which is going to save our lives. d chance already researching, which is awesome. My guy's going to sleep. His house now is going to go here. It's going to actually go around the farm. So it's going to show that it's a little farming house, which is going to be pretty cool. Shadow's being a beast, luckily. We're going to try and rush writing so we can get really good stats but we're gonna go woodworking then writing then gardening then water watering tailoring would be awesome especially since we have sheep here we could get we definitely get some gear built up which would be cool i would like it if you could finish this for us that would be sweet while she's over there researching this that's phenomenal we're doing really good like we're having a really good start we have a lot of wool and stuff like that. That doesn't need to be built right now, so you can go back to doing that. My guy's gonna go eat, which is nice. She's about to be done that. We have a decent amount of wood. We're doing pretty good. Honestly, I think our base looks amazing compared to what it used to look like. 
I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Gardening would be nice, but I'm gonna get that put in as soon as possible. Now, since this is going to be where our main person lives, I'm gonna go ahead and build a little shack on the outside here. Literally just a little tiny shack. Just like that. Little door, a little bit of a floor. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this into a storage room. So I think maybe two things of that is gonna be fine. And then I don't think we can do any of that stuff just yet. So we could even do maybe a stockpile of stone, 50 stone, iron ore. You know, we're gonna leave it. I think that's okay. Maybe the only thing we'll get in here is a little bit of that. So there we go. That's gonna be our next little area that we're gonna build. I know I can go ahead and build up my guy's house, but for now, my character shouldn't mind sleeping on the floor. So I think we'll be okay there. He wants to relax and get a place to store his weapons. My guy wants to sleep inside and hit level one satisfactory. Become friends of Shadow Wolf. That sounds completely fine with me. That doesn't seem too bad of an option. She's over there doing her thing. I like the fact that we're going to have a nice little area like this. Once we get more windows, it's really going to help us out. My guy's going to focus on farming. He's going to focus on chopping trees down. We really need to get this done so we can go into woodworking. So he's able to get a wooden axe so he doesn't break his leg or hurt himself. Since no one has the ability to even heal anybody. The reason we rush writing, even though it takes a long time to do, is because we're going to be able to get the book stand. And the book stand is going to allow us to progress really quickly and since d chan here is going to be our most likely our doctor slash uh scholar she's really going to be a huge huge help so she's going to be able to teach kids and she's going to be able to apply splints be a master of applying splints do the flu treatment and definitely take care of people so that's going to be her main her main role is going to be the the caretaker you know she's going to be the provider of like health she's going to be our doctor well, I'm going to be focusing on farming, anim animal husbandry, you know, we're really going to focus on that. Plus, being the farmer, since my guy has overeater, it's completely fine. Shadow Wolf is going to be our protector. He's going to be the one that does all that hard laboring, as you can tell. He's also, once he gets later on at really high at woodcutting, he's going to go ahead and become our miner, plus our soldier. So he's going to be our huge defensive guy. He's going to really protect us and keep us safe. Now in order to get a military built up, we need tailoring. So in order for him to start training his combat, we need tailoring done as soon as possible. So a little bug harvest, a little bug infestation has happened. So I'm gonna grab you, Daniel, you're building something. So we're gonna ignore that. We're gonna get you to come over here and do this. You're actually building the shack, which isn't a bad idea. But I need this to get rid of because it's gonna really mess us up entirely. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna build my guy's my guy's house. So we're gonna have it go. I want it to be kind of like an L. I want it to really block off like this entire area, kind of like that. We got a trader, which isn't too bad. But we're gonna have it go like this. This is gonna be the tip of my house. We're gonna have a little area here, like a crafting zone. It's not going to be the biggest house. It does look pretty large compared to theirs, but it's going to be thin. It's going to be large, but it's going to be thin. So we're going to have this place be a place for eating. And once we get more wood, we can do that. Now, where is my guy going? He's going to go eat. Yep. Hey, Chan, I'm going to make you take a break and go trade this guy. Luckily, you start at the 100 bucks and you start with some items you don't need right off the bat. So getting some things right off the beginning will be really nice. So what do we want here? Wood and watering can be fantastic, but there's no point in really buying it because we can make it later. Plus, I can't use it until we get watering, which is pretty far down the tech tree. Apprentice forest clothing would be really useful. It's going to allow our boy to work a little faster, but there's nothing super good in here. Wooden pickaxe is nice. This is the only thing that I think would be good for us. So that's kind of sad. Apprentice scholar robes would be sweet, actually. Healing potions, I always sell those because you don't need them. If we do that, we can go ahead and get Apprentice Scholar robes, which is going to allow d to work a lot faster at that. Increase her research slightly faster. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, after this, she's going to go ahead 
just gathering more gems. But after this, we're gonna go right into furniture one and then gardening. And we're gonna do this because this is gonna unlock the ability for her to wear her clothing, I think. So we're gonna go to storage and look. Yeah, so actually it's gonna need tailoring. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into writing, tailoring, gardening. That's what we're gonna do. So that's not gonna be too, too bad. It's gonna take a little bit, but oh well. Now let's go back into the walls here and kind of finish what we're doing. This is gonna be a place where my character is gonna eat. So it's gonna be kind of like their kitchen. Front door is gonna be here. Now that again, we don't have enough wood, but basically this is going to be the look of our house. It's going to be like a long house, but that's because the room, the, the bedroom is going to be here. This is the bedroom with a little place that we could possibly do some crafting. We're going to have a side door probably be here and have a door over in the front of the house as well. Shadow just broke his fucking leg, which I said would happen too. So that's really not good. So I'm gonna have to carry him to bed. Which that's absolutely horrible. That's the worst thing that can happen because now he can't do anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need her to get this done as soon as possible so we can get... Oh my God, that's horrible. Yeah. Daniel's now gonna have to step up and really carry, carry us to victory. So just harvest the tomatoes, don't plant any others. This sucks, this sucks so much. Cause I need 60 logs now. Damn, hopefully I don't break my leg. This is the tree that he just broke his leg off of. We have to keep an eye on him. Cause if he gets hungry, she's gonna have to feed him. Luckily that's her boy, her, her leg. Her boyfriend so she's gonna be able to take care of him pretty nicely my guy really needs to not do farming right now because i need to at least get 60 wood if i get 60 wood we're gonna be fine if we get 60 wood i can make a bookshelf and then i can get d chan to instantly start doing what she needs to do once she's done that oh my god this poor guy he's in freaking egg and he just broke his leg and he has to wait a long time to get healed we have 35 minutes of in-game time I think it's real like time possibly. We have yep. 35 minutes yep. for our character to basically heal up. Yeah. My guy here needs to get us to 60 wood without hurting himself as well, which is gonna suck. That just, that's such a heavy thing to have happen early on. Again, sorry my dude, you need to really get this wood for us. You don't even have a house yet. Like that's how much of a beast my character is. He doesn't care. One more kick of that tree and we're happy. He's gonna go to bed after complaining about his poor leg, which I can't blame him. He just broke his king leg. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so bad. He's already awake. He's like, ah, ah, so I don't kick a dang tree. Large bookshelf done. Fantastic. I'm gonna get her to go cut a tree down. Our next thing we're gonna research is tailoring, like I said. So D-Chan, I need you to actually continue to cut the tree down. My guy can stop cutting the tree down and actually do his job now. There we go, perfect. Someone got burnt, D-Chan got burnt out even though she literally just started doing that. Wow, that's crazy. We're gonna get the bookshelf put in here. Yep. My guy's really got to step up his game. Not only is she now mad, she's trying to do some stuff. Bro, why can't you go there? Don't know how to walk? What? There's a door, dude. What? Are you serious? No, no, no. Harvest what's here. Oh my god, you're... You're lo Oh my god, he's gonna have a limp forever. If we don't get this done. Oh, we're screwed. Why is she pissed? Why are you pissed? I'm giving you everything you want. She's pissed. She's pissed. My guy broke his leg kicking a tree and the game just started. Oh my gosh. 
So now it's and then, and then she's pissed, so she's doing nothing. So my uh, me in game, yeah. the farmer needs to do everything. I had to get all the wood. Which, where the hell did all the wood go? We just had sixty wood. Wasn't she always laid back like that though? Like whenever <laughs> when she just chills. I don't know. I need him to go construct this, but watch when I try. He goes, oh, you don't see where it is. <laughs> what do you mean? Because the apple basket is in front of him, duh. He can't see. No, I try to walk him around and everything, and he's still like. <laughs> <laughs> she needs to wait, not be such a Grinch. I think she will be for another six minutes. My guy is doing the, all the wrong things. Go harvest. He's the farmer. We need food or else we're gonna die. He was being a beast though. Oops, don't remove plant. Oh, oh well, remove it I guess. I'm gonna misclick. He was being a beast. I had a, he broke his leg so I had to get her to finish her researching so she can get the bookshelf so she can learn how to splint legs. If I don't do it, oh he's starving now so that means my guy needs to go over here and feed him because he can't walk. Oh my god, he can't because he can't. I don't know how to get this home. Freaking Dinkle, Dinkle Fairy. Make me break the damn house. Go feed this poor soul. Don't you dare tell me you don't know how. There we go. Good job. Good job, me. Now go construct this. Now your new job is to research medicine because she's sniffing the cocaine or something. Like she's literally being a horrible person. We don't have enough wood to fix her wall. Really? Yeah, we do. That's a lie. What the heck? Poor guy. This is how much time I have to fix his leg before if, if I don't, he's gonna be permanently disabled. He's gonna walk off a limp and be very slow. So since she's over there doing absolute nothing, I have to step up. Oh, this is actually the person we wanna be friends with. The greedy villagers, perfect. They live right there and they're huge. Mm -hmm. So we definitely don't wanna mess with those people. Yep. Okay, my guy, you, you slept enough. Mm -hmm. T-Chan, you done yet? You done being pissed? You gonna take care of your boy? Mm -hmm. I hope so because he's 19 minutes or he's gonna be a gimp and that's not good. It's not good. It's not good. My guy's gonna learn to splint. It's good to have multiple people learn how to do that, but he shouldn't be doing that. He should be focusing on other things. I'm gonna get into tier one medicine and then get her to focus on trying to get tier two medicine. Oh my god, it's so bad luck. You can eat our dinner. It's okay, you don't have to wait. We're trying to get this all situated. I want to at least get this guy medicine one before we end the video. So we're almost there, don't worry. We're gonna get this, we're gonna apply splints, and hopefully we're gonna be better off. Oh, he needs to go eat, okay. Go eat. Okay, you're done eating. I have to watch what he eats because he's an overeater. D chance on one scholar. Congratulations. Daniel, it's all up to you, my guy. Daniel's level one. Okay, can I successfully splint on the first try? Apply splints. If I can successfully splint on the first try, it'll be a Christmas miracle because it never happens. Failed. Knew it. Yep. Knew it. Medicine. Right, my guy needs to go sleep. But guys. This is Founder's Fortune. This game's freaking crazy. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that fuss up down below. It truly, truly helps out. But guys, our dude broke his dang leg. Our house is looking not too bad, honestly, from the inside. But oh my god, what a start to the game. It's actually heckin' hard right now. I kind of can't believe it. But guys, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.